Hello my love, welcome or welcome back for another video. Today we are going to talk about words that get us fired up, turned on about life that are igniting us. And those words that I just mentioned are part of that list of words, you can lump them into that. But I think when we're doing our affirmations, when we're speaking, when we're giving ourselves this like vision and dreaming and we have the goals and everything else I think it's very important to use words that have power that like like I said ignite you that get you turned on fired up about life and when you're speaking it just does something to your body it makes you feel good it makes you feel joyful it makes you feel like things are working out for you that feeling when you add that oomph into it it gets something going inside of you. It stirs something up in you and it's a beautiful thing. So let's dive into the list. Expansion. My net worth and my network are constantly expanding. Overflow. I'm in my season of overflow. This is a very, I love that affirmation. It actually is up here on my glass in the back of me. I look at it every day. I am in my season of overflow. Radiance, glow. My radiance, my glow, my vibe is contagious. People can't help but glow when they're around me. People can't help but glow when I'm around them. I radiate life and love. I radiate light and love. <laughs> I said life and love, but you radiate life and love too, but I radiate light and love. Miracles, I am a magnet for miracles. Magnetic, I am a magnet to money. Money is magnetic to me. I'm a people magnet, I'm an opportunity magnet. Beautiful, I'm absolutely beautiful. And see how I use absolutely beautiful. Just extra words that, again, you don't have to do this, but it's not about fluff. It's just about, it It gets your like creative juices going. It gets you like excited. It's descriptive. It's, um, it's visually and it sounds appealing to you and to your subconscious. Divine, I'm divinely guided. What is for me always comes to me. More, there's always more where that came from. This is a perfect thing to say when you're spending money, investing money, anytime you're making a transition transaction with money or anything. Uh, there's more, there's always more where that came from. It's a perfect thing to say. It, it basically insinuates that even though you're giving money away, this, you're debiting your account, that there's a credit that's going to come back to you in the future. And the intention I think is really that when it's giving away, when I'm spending this money or investing this money, that there's going to be return on this investment. There's going to be a return on what I gave. Um, that is the mindset. Not saying that I'm always giving just to return, but understanding that when my hand is open, my fist is not closed, that there's more opportunity for things to come to me. At the same time, there's more opportunity for me to give to people who need it or to, to pay a bill or to, offer service, <laughs> uh, but it's transactional. Understanding that when I give, what I give is going to come back to me. And in the Bible, it talks about what you give. It's going to come back to you pressed down, shaken and abundantly. And I feel like that's, that's literally what I mean right now. There's always more that came from. Another thing I like to say, this is not like really a word <laughs> specifically, but I love saying my bank account runneth over. So anytime I'm like, there's more where that came from, my bank account runneth over. There's more where that came from. My bank account runneth over. It's actually affirmation that I say all the time because I believe it. There's going to be a day when my bank account, all my investments are running over where I have so much that I'm not able to even do anything with it. I have to give it away. Um, surplus. That's another word you could use. And this is a bonus. It just came to my head, but surplus. Just start using words, descriptive words that have feeling that ignite something in you. And those words may not even be every word that I listed, it may just be one of the words I listed, but start to think like that and speak like that. And I'm telling you amazing things start to happen. Freedom. I am free. Riches. Riches are on the way to me. Prosperous and or prosperity. Prosperity is my birthright. Plenty. There's always plenty to go around. I always have more than enough. I'm worthy. I charge what I'm worth plus tax. You know, whatever your attitude is, whatever your temperament is, make sure you add that when you're speaking your affirmations. You want it to be very believable, something that is you when you're speaking it. Or if it isn't you at this moment, you want it to be the future you speaking. Extraordinary. I'm an extraordinary individual. I live an extraordinary life. Amazing. Amazing things always happen to me. Amazing things always happen to me. Amazing things always happen to me. And you know what's crazy? Amazing things almost always happen happen to me. <laughs> That's what's crazy about when you say this and you believe it, amazing things do always happen to me and amazing things can happen for you. Delicious. My life is delicious. I'm so turned on about life. Love. I give love and love always comes back to me. Lovely. I'm surrounded by lovely people, lovely opportunities, lovely everything. 
I love the word lovely. So you probably hear me speak when I'm like, hello, love, hello, lovely. <laughs> but I love that word so much. Opportunity, the best opportunities always come my way. The best opportunities are always making their way to me. Now I wanna go over a list of words that I wrote down, I kind of was jotting down, thinking about affirmations that I've said or declarations, or even when I'm just writing words I've used. So I wanna read them to you. Empowered, exquisite, gorgeous, graceful, creative, innovative, passionate, heavenly, gifted, magnificent, the word destiny, aligned, beautiful, fancy, Splendid, strong, motivated, wonderful, original, one of a kind, one in a million. And now this list, like I said, I have <laughs> probably another hundred words that I use in different ways, but I just wanted to give you an idea, give you something to kind of start as your basis for creating affirmations or for speaking to yourself differently. And again, be creative, use other, you can go on Google and Google like affirmations for this and use other people's affirmations and just put your own tone, your own vibe into those affirmations. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like some people have affirmations and they're like, I'm that B, like, I'm not gonna say that me personally, but if that's for you, then you do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that, what fits for you or what aligns with you or the person that you wanna be, do that. And it doesn't have to be like where you're telling everybody your affirmations. This is for you. It's really for you and start saying them every day. I wouldn't start with like 10 affirmations or 20, just start with one or two or three and just continuously say them and believe them and internalize them and become them. And the way your body, your, um, your confidence will start to change, start to switch, start to heal, start to grow is, is it's exceptional. Like it's, it's really it's really incredible. Like it's really incredible if you really pay attention to how much you change when you start to speak to yourself and think differently than you have been. That is like the first part, <laughs> like the first part of it all is like changing the thinking and it's gonna take time. Some people it will be quick, but others it may take a while. I recall a story um, and I'll share this real quick before we end, but um, I was getting my hair done years ago. I do my hair now, but I was getting my hair done and I was, we were talking about like money and being magnet, magnetic to money. And I shared with her an affirmation that I used to love to say, I still say it now, but I'm a money magnet. And she started saying that and she started teaching her kids to say that. And I remember she texted me and she was like, oh my God, my son found money. And I can't remember exactly where it was. If I could find the message, um, cause I know I screenshot it and I had sh shared it on social media um, as encouragement. But if I could find it, I'll post it. But it was just so funny because that kid, like that boy, now he's probably in his teens cause it's been like probably four or five years. It was po before um, 2020, but how incredible is that to like even teach your kids to be an example? Like I'm a money magnet and you are too, that you can attract money, that you could find money, that money flows to you endlessly, easily, effortlessly, unexpectedly, and believing that. And if you raise a generation of kids of that who believe that, like think about how great the world would be. People who have that like that vibe that there's more than enough, there is plenty. And I want you guys to understand that there is so much out there. Like we really think that there's not enough. No, there is more than enough. And that's the crazy part. There's enough for you to be a millionaire, me to be a millionaire, the next person to be a millionaire, multi-millionaires, billionaires. There's enough for everybody to do that. But we get so caught up in our back thinking, our scarcity mindset that we forget how abundant the world is. There's parts of the world that probably haven't even been seen yet. Like that's crazy. There's money that probably hasn't even been touched yet. Like money does grow on trees. And I remember just when I was younger, just being like a smart aleck, like when people are like, money doesn't grow on trees. Yes, it does. It's literally like cotton paper. At the time I thought it was paper, learned about it being cotton. Those are both, like they're plants. They grow on from the ground. And so there's a plethora, there's so much, there is excess and you have to believe that and that it's available to you and I swear to you things will start to change and I am nowhere near the amount of money I want to make I'm telling you that right now I still have debt I still have the things but I know I know in my heart of hearts that the next time I talk about this a year from now my situation is going to be totally different I believe that and I'm sharing this with you so that you can believe that too so go out there and speak life into yourself life into others and be an example for the kids around you the people around you so that you have the desire the the, the will to change and it just, it's like a ripple effect. It's, it is a ripple effect. Literally you being this individual 
inspires people, gives people permission to do the same. So that is the video. I'm thankful as always for you guys for watching this video. If you have some affirmations or some really powerful words that just really ignite you, share them in the comments, please, so that other people can read them and use them in their affirmations. I'm so thankful for you as always. With all my love, Lana.